I don't know what the fuck going on with Cartoon Network tonight, but I will see here watching Family Guy. After Family Guy go off, I'll get ready to go to sleep. The new show called Mr. Pickles, which I see right there. Now I was sitting up looking at it. You ready to go to sleep? And this came on on the commercial before you ever watch a dark swim. It would come on the commercial to tell you shit, and you read it. But it was going so fast, so I had to slow it down. So I'm gonna try to uh, slow speed it forward so you guys can see. It's just weird and it fucked me up because he keeps talking about the Illuminati. And now this shit on public TV like they don't care no more. Hold on, let me play it. We're going in slow motion, y'all look at this shit. It's Illuminati. The fuck? Look at that shit. Keep watching. You see that shit? You see that shit? You see that shit? What the fuck? Now the show come on. I was shocked when I seen that shit. Hey everybody, Melissa Melton here. To start this video, we're going to start by playing the National Anthem, which was the sign-off on television stations across the nation back in the 1960s. Our National Anthem. Okay, I'm going to put that video you just saw in perspective in just a moment, but today up at TrueStream I wrote this article, TV Your Mind Controlled, and what it has to do with is the fact that back in the 60s, scientists, uh, one scientist in particular that I cite who worked for General Electric, was able to do experiments on people watching television and he found that within 30 seconds to a minute of watching television, your brain goes from a beta wave state, which is an alert, awake, thinking state, with, which primarily uses the left side of your brain, which is where your critical thinking skills lie, to an alpha state, which is more of a relaxed, daydreaming type state, where you essentially go on autopilot and you become a passive learner to the information that's coming into your mind. Okay? What they were able to figure out is that television is a form of basic mind control. When you are in an alpha wave state, you are suggestible to whatever's going into your mind, what you're seeing, at a subliminal level that you cannot critically analyze as you are viewing it. And one of this researcher's findings actually said that through this, there may be a time when the mass media can create special programs that help people modify attitudes and behaviors. It's creepy stuff. Switching gears, have you ever seen the movie They Live? It's the 1988 John Carpenter science fiction movie where this man is able to put on sunglasses and he finds out that there's a signal on a TV broadcast that is concealing the appearance of these beings that are controlling society 
and he finds out all the billboards just say consume, obey, they're just all subliminal messages. Everything is a subliminal message and everyone is being basically controlled subliminally by the ruling class. Now we're going to go ahead and watch this national anthem again, only this time we're going to watch it slowed way down. Tell me if you notice anything different from the last time you watched it. Do you see the letters change at the bottom? Let's watch it again in even slower frame by frame motion. happens so quickly you can barely see it but you aren't meant to physically literally see it you are meant to subconsciously see it it is meant to go into the subconscious and implant itself into your brain on a subconscious level and this continues throughout this entire national anthem and it becomes basically like the script for the movie they live This video was shown signing off of television programming for the day uh, throughout the 60s and we know that during that time is the same exact time that the Mass Mind Control MK Ultra project, the government covert operation was going on in the United States. They were carrying it out on the American people and that's been admitted. The CIA admitted it in, what, 1970? And there's even a speech where Bill Clinton apologized for it in 1995. So this is all on record. This report I received today is a monumental document in more ways than one. But it is a very, very important piece of America's history. And it will shape America's future in ways that will make us a more honorable, more successful, and more ethical country.
What this committee learned, I would like to review today with a little more detail than Dr. Fraden said, because I think it must be engraved on our national memory. Thousands of government-sponsored experiments did take place at hospitals, universities, and military bases around our nation. While most of the tests were ethical by any standards, some were unethical, not only by today's standards, but by the standards of the time in which they were conducted. They failed both the test of our national values and the test of humanity. Informed consent means your doctor tells you the risk of the treatment you are about to undergo. In too many cases, informed consent was withheld. Americans were kept in the dark about the effects of what was being done to them. The deception extended beyond the test subjects themselves to encompass their families and the American people as a whole. This is not, this is not a debunked video by any means. In fact, everything I've looked up on this video has only gone to show that it is in fact a real video that was in fact shown on national television networks throughout the country in the 1960s. And if you guys think they're not using this kind of programming today, I assure you that they are. It's just gotten much, much more sophisticated. I have lots of documentation on that, lots of research studies on that, and I will be bringing more reports to show you exactly how these kinds of technologies are used to keep the masses in check to keep you buying the establishment line and to keep people from thinking critically and asking questions. And that's what we all have to start doing, is thinking more critically about the information that's going into our minds and asking more questions. Melissa Melton, Truth Stream Media.